Thanks for staying with us. So we have with us um, the Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC, Mr. Babatunde Irukere. Welcome to the show, sir. Good morning. Good morning. So before you came on the show, we had discussed the issue that happened with the late Beju Buma, who, who passed away as a result of an alleged um, medical malpractice. And, um, and we just thought it was important to bring you on, just to hear... Um, what your agency does, what your commission does to protect Nigerians in these kind of situations. When, people, when, when things happen, how, what can you do to help us? Thank you, and that's a very important question, very topical too. Um, the FCCPC just opened two investigations. One is with respect to late Mrs. Peju Goma. Another one is Miss Omolara Omoya Jowo, and uh, which appears to have been somewhat contemporaneous. And what it is is that um, at this point, the early stages of the investigation, we don't have that much information yet, but we have enough to at least open an investigation. Our understanding is that both uh, these people presented at different hospitals, one in Arepo, one in Victoria Island, uh, purportedly relatively well, but uh, with Mrs. Uboma seeking elect an elective medical procedure, and with Ms. Omoya Jo uh, presenting with... Um, uh, uh, stomach difficulty on account of uh, uh, an ulcer. And however, the progression of the treatment or care uh, has have raised uh, questions about whether the facilities or the uh, treating personnel uh, complied with the applicable standards of care and patient rights. Um, we don't make any determination one way or the other at this early uh, point, but at least we have enough to go on. And our process is such that we, when we open an investigation, we request information from the uh, relevant parties. In, in Mrs. Uboma's case, that we, we opened the investigation by requesting information from Premier, from Evercare, and from Lassut. And um, with uh, Ms. Omoya Joe from Bichland the Hospital, and then from the uh, Transferring Hospital, the General Hospital. We look forward to receiving that information. What happens when the information comes in? We analyze the information. Depending on what we discover, we would proceed to what is otherwise known as an investigative hearing. And during the investigative hearing, there'll be testimony, and all kinds of people would speak, and we would gather a lot more evidence. And that would lead to findings, and sometimes uh, orders, and then sometimes even recommendations to different entities. Uh, one key question that arises all the time is, uh, the difference between our role at the FCCPC and the Medical and Dental Council, the MDC. Um, the, the professional uh, registration and disciplinary uh, regulator. And so our role is quite different. And, you know, quite possibly, uh, some things we find out can ultimately determine that there was misconduct. And so they would take it from there. Sometimes they would conduct an investigation and some things they find out would determine that there was a violation of patient or uh, consumer rights, and we would take it from there. So there is some uh, congruence and, and collaboration, but the rules are still completely different. Right. Okay. So I, I would like to know, sir, how uh, you get to take up a case. Is it that the individuals involved re report to the commission, or you pick it up from social media for those who are able to speak up? How does the process work? So there are two ways. Um, the way things work is that the institution can open an investigation by itself, or it can also be based on complaints. In this case, they're both. Uh, when we looked at this, so when we picked up this information that was coming in, we immediately engaged and gathered some more information through other channels, and what we gathered was sufficient for us to open an investigation. And in the course of that, I mean, because this was quite the two fast-moving uh, situations, we've also come in as complaints. When, if the person is found guilty or found wanting, what are the, what, 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 do you find them? Do they have to pay fee? Do you close them down? I, I need to know. And then how can people know about you? Because me, there are many people I want to report. <laughs> many people. I, may, I have petition, but I don't know where to go, who to go to, okay. how. So please just give me the whole information and everybody. The whole information. And, and, and so the... Your phone number, everything. Uh, no, we post those ones. Yeah. We get information. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the FCCPC has a complaint portal on our website, which is at uh, 
fccpc.gov.ng. That's the um, most institutionalized way to file a complaint or complain about or provide feedback about something you're dissatisfied with. But we also have this complaint from other sources, from Twitter, from Facebook, and we've got telephone lines, Instagram. That work? And, yes, they do work. And, um, and people walk in sometimes. And then we have emails. People can send an uh, in email to contact at fccpc.go.ng. And so we have complaints from all those. But like I said, the most institutional method is going to the portal. Because when you go to the portal, you're going to log it into a um, complaint resolution system, the uh, CRS system, and it would immediately generate a case ID number. It would respond to you immediately, letting you know if it's been properly logged. And then you have a, you give you information about how to go on a dashboard and monitor your complaint and see what's going on with it. Those are the... Yeah. Okay, and so also I would like to find out, like, how long ago does um, something that's happened to you is, um, like, how long does it, if, it's, if it happened like a long time ago and someone's just watching this show for the first time and thinking, oh, is there a time limit on oh, when oh, the, um, the event has happened to, re respond at that, um, to report at that time? And also, what type of complaints, are there specific type of complaints that your agency handles? Good. And so um, the, the limit of our powers is entirely based on the law. And so to the extent that there's still a dissatisfaction or an injury that has been unresolved, then we would take it on. However, you know, I mean, the law might say that uh, if you sleep on your rights, you lose your rights. Mm -hmm. It's what you call the statute of limitation that limits how long it takes for you to be able to proceed to enforce a violation in court. Now, that statute of limitation does not essentially preclude the commission from proceeding, but it, it, I would imagine that even if a commission comes out with a finding in your favor, if the other side goes to court and says this happened 10 years ago, statute of limitation says that you should have brought this case within five years. So even the, the remedy that the commission provides to you might become preempted by uh, the judicial process that says that it is out of time. So other than, what, other than that, um, there's really no uh, limit. However, what would happen, though, is we look out to fix uh, injury. So if something happened 10 years ago, and in reality, there's really no evidence of any injury, and all of a sudden you just heard about the FCCPC, and you say, by the way, I remember this guy, and I've held him in my mind for all this period, and you, know, you complain now. And so there might be no remedy. Uh, so I, I suppose the point is, we would act as quickly as we can. Right. But it's within reasonable time. Are there any hidden charges when it comes to the complaints? No, 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 no. Um, it's free. The cost of our services is uh, there's no cost to it on the side of the complainer. So you are paid now, by the we, government. Yeah, we're the government employees. No, but 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 what it is is that certain investigations will be reimbursed by the target of the investigation. Right, right. But certainly not the. They have to run, unfortunately. But I I do remember the the case you took up concerning the. Uh, Sanitizer that was taken up. So, I mean, so we saw you at work where somebody charged 4500 or something like that. I can't oh, remember yeah. for the sanitizer. You came, your agency came in um, to this pharmacy, I think, yeah. and got them to, to re retract that. So well, I, we're I, currently I, prosecuting some, uh, com some businesses that gorged the prices at that time. Mm. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, All right. So can we be just reporting? Because there are plenty of people to report. Don't worry. We have to run. But we'll, because we're running late, we have to just bring you back another time. But definitely, thank you very much for shedding light on this because Nigerians need to know that there is help Absolutely. in these kind of situations. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you.